So do you like festivals, Shane? Um, I didn't think I did, but I'd never actually really gone to many, and I'm, I'm having a lot of fun at this one. Are you saying that all into the camera? Shane. No, I'm not talking to the camera. Oh, okay. You're talking to the audience. The audience. <laughs> Anyway, anyway, it's been a great festival, uh, Pete's Ridge. This is day four for us, so we're a bit dishevelled. My skin is now literally made up of layers of Aerogard, sunscreen. Sweat. Sweat, <laughs> dirt, river mud. I'm pretty much sure that like a cicada, I could just peel my skin off me and there'd be this sort of weird opaque shame <laughs> shell. And maybe put it in my place if I wanted to drive in one of those lanes where you need a passenger. Yeah, yeah, the T3s. I would put the my T3s. shell there and they go, not only did he have a passenger, he had himself as a passenger. That's that's clever. You get your toll back. So it's New Year's Eve and everyone's got New Year's resolutions. So my New Year's resolution is to spin around a lot. So No, no, resolutions. Um, one, one I thought of was once a year, every year for the rest of my life, I'm going to take one day out to celebrate the simple but miraculous fact that I was born. I'll just give it a day. Well, you should celebrate the anniversary of your birth with something. I'll get you a cake or something. <laughs> okay. <laughs> but you should. Be nice. But that doesn't really involve me. You should do something that I can do with the cake. Oh, I don't know. What I'll do, I'll... Um... Put an animal on top that I can hunt. Yeah, that'll do. Or set fire to it. I don't know. Oh, so you set fire to it and I'll put it out somehow. Okay. Another New Year's resolution that I have is to stop making fun of Sarah Jessica Parker. <laughs> She's not even famous anymore. Let it go, Shane. Let it go. <laughs> yes, we all know she looks like a horse. Whatever. Let her get on with her life with Inspector Gadget. <laughs> Here's one that I'm set on. And everyone says this, but I'm actually going to do this, alright? And I've been saying it for a while. I'm finally going to start going to the gym. Bennett. Peculiar Fetish Warehouse. The Jim Bennett Peculiar Fetish Warehouse. I'm gonna finally start going more than I already do. How often do you go? Um, once on oh, Saturdays. <music> Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome the very lovely and talented Miss Madeline Culp, everyone. How's your uh, festival going? Well, I feel like, um, I... Yell. You don't want to take oh. those glasses off, do you? I feel like I've discovered that Portaloo people are sadistic. Oh my god, it is so disgusting. Yeah. I also got bit on my butt. Yeah, on this yeah, sorry about that. And I had to run over to my friend Jen and get her to look at my butt, which was another humiliating experience. Oddly enough, you run over to Jen all the time and get a look at your butt, like no, uh, completely That's unrelated lie. stuff. Before you said, oh Jen, I think I saw Darren Hinch over there. Can you look at my bum? No, I, you know, you're not. I didn't even see the relevance. True. I didn't see, see the that relevance. That is just disgusting. It's not disgusting. What? Darren's all right. Oh, he's not all right. He hates pedophiles. <laughs> well, don't So we that's all. all right by me. <laughs> um, now it's time for Frequently Asked Inquiries, the segment where you send in your questions relating to the Mrs. Funbury's empire. Frayed Wires writes, has Mrs. Funbury's gone green? And uh, ever since she was exposed to those gamma rays, yes. Florence Inuit of Cringilla writes, What's the big idea? My big idea was my TV show Beetle Detectives. And it's about the Beatles when they were kids. It's not based on a true story, obviously. Uh, the Beatles are kids and they go around Liverpool solving mysteries in the 50s. My big idea um, was in 1996 when I said, why don't you make a flipper movie and put uh, Paul Hogan in it and give him a lot of scenes with a pelican. So sometimes the moral of the story, I think, is sometimes the big ideas don't always suck. Sometimes they're really good, like my one. I had forgotten all about that movie. This is clearly terrible, but there might be a snippet on it, and I should have done more deliberate outtakes as usual, but you can't recapture that magical stuff. 